Hi everybody, welcome back to the Teach Me channel. I'm Mark Stroud and I thank you so much for joining me. We're in the No More Batteries series here on the Teach Me channel. If you have a Blink camera that's in a high traffic area, you know that the more traffic goes by, the more this Blink detects movement, the more it records, and the more the batteries go down, down, down. It drains the batteries. But in this series, we're talking about no more batteries. And today, I've got another product that will help take away the changing battery blues. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. All right, today we have with us the Wasserstein Solar Panel. And I believe that this is going to help relieve our changing battery blues. Again, this is part two in the series, no more batteries for our Blink camera system. I don't know about you, but I get tired of changing batteries, especially again, if your camera is in a high traffic area, you know it drains your batteries, right? All right, so let's talk about the solar panel. Let's see what's in the box. All right, we're gonna set that over there for a second. And we have our instructions. Very nice indeed. Not, not too much to them, it's just, it's not too much to this. So we're gonna put that over there. Yes, and we have, ooh, look at this. We have our solar panel. Now, they've engineered this so that it does not require direct sunlight all the time. So even in dim lighting, even in dim lighting, it does work very well. Now, here's something too. Because of this solar panel, again, you don't need batteries because in this, this is actually a battery as well. Here's the backside of it. This is a battery. It has, it has a battery. So it actually is going to charge from the sun, right? It's going to charge the internal battery in here. So that's why it's going to work at night. Isn't that awesome? So it's going to work at night. And so at night, it's going to draw power from the battery and charge, or rather, uh, supply power to your Blink camera. It's not going to charge it. It's going to supply power to the Blink camera. And during the day, it's going to charge its internal batteries, also supplying power to the Blink camera. It's, it's wonderful. Now, we'll say this as we get into this. Before you install it, or before you connect it to your Blink camera, let it, let it sit in the sun, or let it, wherever you install it, let it remain there for a day or so. Let it get a full charge, and then connect it to the camera. All right, so it has a mounting bracket, and it has screws with it, and that's pretty much all that's, that's in the box. All right, so let's set that aside, too. Woo -hoo. All right, so on the back, you see an arrow. Do you see that arrow? You wanna place the mounting bracket or the mounting housing here. You wanna place that on the bottom and slide it up. So you see a little clip on the bottom of this. Let that be on the bottom. All right, so we're just gonna put it here on the bottom. See there? And put it on the bottom there and slide it up. And I love the snapping. Did you hear it snap? And so that's on there now. So now, this also comes, I believe, with a 14-foot cable. Is that a 14-foot cable? Let me make sure. This comes with a four-meter cable. It says four-meter. Okay, it comes with a four-meter cable, uh, which is pretty long. Let's, let's take it out and see how long it is. How about that? All right, let's go. So you've got cable and cable and cable and cable and cable. Okay, you've got a lot of cable. You can run this uh, pretty far. Uh, so that's, I mean, that, you got cable. You, 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 you've... You've got a lot of cable. So you run this, maybe put this on the roof or somewhere where it's gonna get sunlight, right? And you run the other end and you place it in the back of your Blink camera. 
And that's pretty much it. You want to, before you, but before you uh, connect this bottom plate to the solar panel, make sure you screw this in first. Mount the, mount the bracket first and then connect it to the panel. That's going to be very important because you're going to find it sort of difficult trying to get in there with your screwdriver or with your power tool. You're going to try to find it. It's just easier to mount this first and then this. All right. So that's cool. Now you want to make sure that you mount this where it's going to get maximum sunlight. And so if the sun is rising in on this, this place here and it's going over there, you want to mount it somewhere like this so it can get maximum sound sunlight throughout the day. That's pretty much it. So you're going to take, uh, let's go ahead and take out our batteries. Yay. <laughs> That's going to take out our batteries. All right. So we're going to take out our batteries. And when you do that, do me a favor. You take your batteries out and you screw the back cover in. And I have my, my dime somewhere. I had it. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to screw that back in. Now, when you get your batteries out, do me a favor and say, Mr. Batteries, I appreciate you. Thank you for what you did, but you're out of here. <laughs> I love that. No more batteries. I love that. All right. So then you simply take, oh, this has a very nice weather seal around it here. I like that. I like that. So we're going to make sure we're um, installing it properly. It's going in the same direction. And we're going to put that in. Come on. Look over the glasses. All right. So it goes in nice and make sure that the make sure that the, the rubber goes all the way to the back of the camera. And that's about it. Of course, you have it in your outdoor housing already. And so that is connected. So again, before you use this, before you connect it to your camera, let it get maximum charging. Just like when you get your brand new cell phone, you want to charge it up before you use it. It's a good idea to position this. Go ahead and run your cable. And there is a lot of cable. <laughs> run your cable. But before you connect it to your camera, if at all possible, give it a good full day or so of charging and then go ahead and connect it to the camera. That way your battery is nice and ready to go. All right. Oh, also, and try to install this in the daytime. You know, once you've gotten it charged up, let's say you charge it up on a Monday or whatever day it is on the very next day, very next morning, go ahead and then connect this to the camera. So that way all day long you have additional power and that at night you'll have no problem whatsoever. All right, that about wraps it up in our No More Battery series. If I get another one, I will show it to you. Bye-bye, batteries. <laughs> All right, everybody. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. All right, see you soon. you to become, even in this church, I don't need anyone to become like me. I want you to become, I need you to become better than me. You understand? I need you to go higher than me. Be better, better editors, better preachers, better teachers, more influential in your home and in your communities. I need you to be better than. That's the mindset of a godly leader, a proper leadership that is legacy minded. You must be better than me. And let's go ahead and get into the word. All right, today we're going to go into part four of the series entitled Releasing Your Potential releasing your potential. That's the word of this season. The Lord said he's going to release or that he is releasing 
our potential.